I don't get it guys hey guys you don't gotta you don't gotta go to work but you gotta go to work but you gotta work I mean I okay it would be nice if I don't work but you know reality is that we have to work all right guys today I'm gonna talk about uh, learning databases for anyone okay anyone in IT support uh, area like you know you're going to help desk you're trying to learn about help desk stuff um, or you're basically becoming a system admin you're trying to go to that system admin side or you're already in help desk so I suggest you to work on databases you know learn about databases basic I mean you don't have to be become a database developer there's a whole total new uh, you know learning um, path for that but you know let's be honest um, if you are a system admin, you're definitely working on some type of database work. You know, it could be restoring a database. It could be, you know, um, searching in a database for something. You know, it could be searching or for like some kind of error. Um, databases in, is everywhere. Like, let's say you're brand new to database. Your Facebook that you like right now, it's a database. You know, somebody captured that information into some table. So when you like it, it it basically keeps the data of that like right uh, Amazon you know different type of uh, computers listing and everything you click on something and something else comes out it's all database you know when you go to the football uh, or any links like that and they keep the track of uh, each uh, teams with numbers and everything that's databases so think about it database is almost like the core you know so you can yeah you can get better with other things but trust me a lot of the IT guys you know they probably start with something like you know uh, um, basic stuff but uh, if you want to get better this is what I'm saying like you know uh, let's take an example of our courses let's say you have you're brand new to IT you did, you did your A plus and uh, you did our courses so now that's an extra you know a lot of people want, might not even have this you know it's only 13,000 people there's too many people outside in this world that have uh, you know they don't know about this site and everything so you have that opportunity you know so what I'm saying is that if you have database skill on your resume you say that I have did this course or you know done some kind of training then that makes your uh, resume looks really good and in terms of yourself like you know you you want to be confident when you're working uh, and that's something you can uh, you know um, if, when you're good with data, databases uh, at least you will know you can recover stuff that is the most you know important thing I mean you will feel really good about your job because then you're feel you don't feel like oh my god if something goes down today if this whole database get corrupted and your database developers out of office you're the system admin guy or you're the IT guy uh, now things are gonna come back to you and if you don't know anything about databases then it's gonna be a very um, you know stressful day for you so my suggestion to you is this first it looks good on your resume you probably land jobs you know better than other person who don't have databases on their uh, database skills on their resume if you come com let's say you have a resume in front of the HR manager and the other person and you have all these courses and the databases stuff in there then that will make you look really good um, real life calls can be like you know for our help desk guys they usually get script from like developers and then they will say okay run this database script on this uh, site against whatever the call is so this could be uh, a member calling that I cannot access some type of site now that member might have registered with a different email address than what you, what they what email address should be in the in the in the site so let's say for example you run that script and you find out that this member is trying to access that site when he registered with a different email address you find out there's two different email addresses that's because of database query that you run and then you find out that there's two different email addresses so then you notify the whoever is responsible for changing emails and correcting that and then they get this the access that's kind of like a help this kind of call but depending it depends on you might not even do this stuff but it depends where you work and how uh, you know uh, their database um, um, support is kind of like distributed so it could be only d database developers database team doing your database stuff it could be they might not have a lot of people in database and you could be doing like a mixed work with them uh, so this is why I say it's important to learn about databases now database in terms of support I say you know learn the basics learn how to do like searching and curing things learn to do the restore Database restores is extremely important for any system admin guy or help this guy who is also maybe uh, doing some stuff on a database. And our 
goal to do this is to include one basic course of our database like you know working on my uh, from SQL servers like Windows SQL servers and some MySQL and stuff like that we want to do something basic so then we can teach you um, not to become a database developer but to kind of troubleshoot it from an IT guy point of view um, hopefully we'll find a database developer or this video if you are watching and you are a developer you can come and teach a course on jobs to share.org and help us out in this career Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in a different video.